Hi again Year 9s, it's Mr Hegarty here. In this uh, lesson we're going to do our second lesson in sharing out in a given ratio. So this is our second video. As you go through, make sure you take full notes of everything I do and make sure you understand everything before you try and do the questions for lesson. Okay, just before we start on a slightly new topic today, I want to, to remind you of what we did last lesson. Here's a question we did last lesson. We're sharing out £70 between George and Jill in the ratio 2 to 5. Pause the video for a moment, look at your book how we did it last lesson, and see if you can answer this question with the picture method we did previously. I'll go through the answers in 10 seconds. OK, so we were sharing out £70. So we drew a rectangle and that represented the total, which was £70. And we were sharing this out between George and Jill in the ratio 2 to 5. So poor old George, well he got a small portion, he got two parts, and Jill got the remaining five parts. Okay, so what we did is we called uh, this, this box here was what George got, and this here is what Jill got. Okay, now George had two parts, so we can divide George's box up into two. And Jill got five parts, so one box, two boxes, three boxes, four boxes, five boxes. They should have been equal. So, we know that £70 is shared out here. How much must be in each box? Well, there are one, two, and there are one, two, three, four, five. There are in total seven boxes, so £70 is shared out amongst seven boxes. So you do 70 divided by 7, which is 10. That means 10 goes in that box, 10 here, 10 here, 10 here, 10 here, 10 here, and 10 here. So how much does George get? Well, George gets 10 and 10, which is £20. And how much does Jill get? Well, Jill gets 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. So Jill gets 50 pounds. And that's how we did those questions, and hopefully that makes perfect sense to you. On the next slide, I'd like you to copy what's on the slide. Then I would like to ask you, what is the difference between the top example and the bottom? So here's the next slide. I'd like you to copy this into your book, this example A and example B, and just pause the video for 30 seconds when you've done that and see if you can explain the difference between the two examples. Pause the video now. Okay, in example A, the £70 that is shared out between George and Jill in the ratio 2 to 5, that's the total. Okay, we are sharing out £70 between George and Jill in the ratio 2 to 5. Here, if some money is shared out between George and Jill in the ratio of 2 to 5, and George gets 20, the amount they give us is just George's part. It's just George's part. We don't know the total. We have not been told what the total is. But we are still asked to get Jill's part, and we can do that. And we can do it in a very similar way to we did in the previous example, by drawing a picture. So let's do this example on the next slide. Copy it in your books. Make sure you understand. Okay, some money is shared out between George and Jill. There we have uh, some money. We don't know how much it is, okay? We do not know how much this is. But we know that um, it, George and Jill get in the ratio 2 to 5. So a little box here for George to represent two, bar, uh, two parts and a bigger box here for Jill to represent five parts. So this here is George, and this here is Jill. Okay, now, um, George gets two parts, so let's split his up into two parts, and Jill again gets five parts, one, two, three, four, and five. Now, we also know that George gets 20 pounds. So two boxes, his two boxes are worth 20. So what's one of his boxes worth? Well, 20, his amount, 
divided by 2. So each of his boxes are worth £10. And similarly, all of Jill's boxes must be worth £10 as well, because the amount was shared out equally to them in the ratio. So Jill here, just by putting 10 in each of her boxes, therefore gets £50. So how much does Jill get? Well, the answer is £50. Jill gets 50 Right, let's do one more. Copy it in your book, and then I've got some questions for you to do in class. Okay, here's example two. We are told that some money, okay, is shared out between Paul and Jane in the ratio three to four, and that Paul gets £21. And we're asked, how much does Jill get? Okay, here's example two. We are told some money, we don't know how much, is shared out between Paul and Jane in the ratio three to four, and Paul gets 21 pounds. So uh, Paul's here, his part, he gets three parts, and that's equal to 21 pounds. The question is, how much does Jane get? Right, let's draw a picture, a rectangle. That represents some money. We don't know how much. But what we do know is that Paul gets three parts of that money and we know that Jane gets four parts of that money. So Paul has the smaller section and Jane has the slightly bigger. Paul gets three parts, so let's divide it up into three. And Jane gets four parts, so one, two, three and four. Now we know Paul's is 21 pounds. So Paul's three boxes are worth 21, so each box must be 21 divided by three, which is seven pounds, we know that. So seven goes there, seven goes there, and seven goes there, and that adds up to Paul's 21. And that helps us with Jane's because seven must go there, seven there, seven there, and seven there. Seven, 14, 21, 28, therefore Jane gets 28 pounds. And that's it. These are ha how you do sharing in ratios when you know uh, one of the amounts in the, in the parts rather than the amount of the total. And it's as simple as that. Now you should be able to do the examples in class. Thank you for watching.